Welcome to the search analysis course. I have spent weeks right here at this desk working to make sure this course is perfect. This is such an important part of the process for you to succeed with your, with your project that this course has to be perfect. So I want to tell you four things that are very important as you begin to make sure that you're going to get the full value from this course. First, you've got to download the new search analysis tool from Income School. You'll find it linked below. It's an Excel sheet. You can use it just in native Excel or you could upload it to Google Drive. That's how I like doing it so that you can make edits on the fly and everything's in the cloud for you. So that search analysis tool is new. It's different than the previous version. The previous version uh, did a lot of things right, but it took too long. There were too many steps, too many things in there that I think distracted from the core important stuff. And we've put some cool logic into the new search analysis tool to make sure it's doing a lot of the legwork for you. It's gonna figure out if it's a response post, a staple post for you. Uh, it's gonna give you an, a suggestion of how much time you should spend writing that post, etc. And it's going to be a lot smarter about when to write a response post and when to write a staple post. Before we were flying a little blind. We just said, ah, do the response post first and then staple, then pillar, which was really only part of what we needed it to do. Um, but now because we have more data that we can get in that, uh, in that Excel sheet, we're able to do some smart things to make sure the order that you write the posts is the most optimized way to do it. So that's the new search analysis tool. Number two, don't skip anything in this course. It's gonna be so easy to wanna skip steps and ah, that's a good idea, go write it. And I want you to go slow in search analysis. If you start getting lazy, you get an idea and you just write it and we skipped the validation phase where we're really seeing if this has enough uh, search volume, what the competition is, it's going to lead to problems later on. Number three, this course is a significant but subtle departure from the previous way that we used to do search analysis. So I want you to pretend you have never done search analysis if you're coming from the previous version of this course. Some things here have changed that may seem small, but actually are a very big deal and will yield a very much better result, I believe, in this process. And so be careful, pretend you don't know anything and listen to those subtle differences because we're seeing really, really cool results from them. Now, Income School has driven, I mean, I've driven over a hundred million page views to the sites. We've built dozens and dozens of successful websites. We've sold them for millions of dollars. We've done a lot with, with blogging. And so I want you to trust us. Please don't hybridize this course. Don't take this and then something you heard from somebody on YouTube and a podcast and everywhere else. It's gonna lead to disaster. I promise this process works. It is the best we know how to teach it. So just trust it and let it, let it give you the results. And then when you're more advanced and you've followed this completely and perfectly, later you'll find things that work for you. And that's great. Of course you can add, add knowledge later. Now follow it religiously until you can get there. The last thing I want you to do is to banish the term keyword research from your vocabulary. It is the wrong way to think about this process. When people are thinking about just the primary search query, they're ignoring semantic search. So somebody sees full suspension e-bike and they say, aha, full suspension e-bike, that's what I need to write about. And they do all their search analysis about full suspension e-bike. And then they've kind of ignored that, well, people also search mountain e-bike. Um, and it's just, it's so important to recognize that Google is looking for topics. It's looking for um, things that, it's looking at the end result. 
It's not looking for key words and it hasn't for years and years. It's just not how Google works anymore. And so let's banish that term from our vocabulary. We call it search analysis. It's just a more accurate term. Uh, it's just we're analyzing what people search and trying to decide topics to write about. There are three steps to this search analysis process that we're gonna teach you. The first is ideation. We're just getting ideas of things that people search. Then we're gonna go into validation. That's where we're trying to validate the idea to see if it has enough search volume, competition, and we're gonna add a third, which is if we have opportunities with answer targets. And then the third part of the process after ideation and validation is just hit list creation. Now we're gonna write the actual title. We're gonna decide uh, if it's a response staple post. We're gonna actually get the stuff that we'd need to either send to a writer or to write ourselves. It's ready to go. Ideation, validation, hit list creation. Let's go! I'm so excited to teach you this stuff. Let's go on to the next lesson.